Hey there, Shani, welcome to the channel. Can I offer you some snake oil? How about some boofer floofers for your new schnoofers? Welcome to the 1920s. I don't know actually when this car was released. I, I don't I don't know what year this car is based off of. I mean, I probably could Google it on the Wikipedia and find out in about two minutes, or I could leave it up to the comment section because I'm lazy. Well, either way, hey there everybody, I'm Pubo Rama, and in today's video we are taking a look at this, the Classique Broadway. It's a muscle car, which I'm a little expect unexpected to see. I really thought this was going to be in like the, uh, I don't actually know a class, maybe the Sports Classics, because it does look like a Sports Classics to me, but I really like the look at this vehicle. And because it's in the Muscles class, it might actually be quite a fast car. I cannot wait to see the customization it has. I already know that I can take off the hood of the vehicle and have a giant old V8 sticking out because, uh, well, I saw that earlier in the customization. So, yeah, in today's video, I will be fully customizing this vehicle, letting you know everything you need to about it, and if I think it's going to be worth the price tag to pick it up when it is released in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, how much is it going to cost? It is $925,000. There's no trade price either, so it's just a flat price of $900,000. Is that expensive? Well, actually, no, that's quite cheap for a muscle car, or really any car in the game, if you want my honest opinion. I'm quite surprised to see Rockstar making vehicles this cheap. So, let's make our way all the way over here. Slow down! Oh, driving in the snow is still very painful, especially when it's a big ol' heavy muscle car like this. Alright, categories. Armor, fully upgraded. Alright, so we can already see I can remove some of the bodywork. I think that looks hideous, personally. I like the normal... Uh, design it has. Ooh, I really like that mid-level trim. We could do a full, full body trim. Um, yeah, let's go for the full body trim. That looks nice. Put on some brakes. Okay. Front bumpers. Ooh, ooh I do like the power ram. Uh, we also got the bullet bumper, roadster bumper, blade. Nah, I don't like the blade. Um, I actually really like the bullet bumper, but I also like the roadster. Hmm. Huh, you know, let's just go for the power ram. We got a lot of stripes on the side, so let's keep those on the back. We obviously got to do the power ram on the back as well if we do it on the front. Engine. Okay, uh, that is a very weird exhaust. I don't even know if that would work in real life. Do you see how squished that is at the exit? What the heck? I don't really like that. Um, all right, well, with the exhaust options we have, I think all of them are kind of mid. Let's just go for the wide chrome tips. Uh, okay, we've got fender covers. Yeah, we'll go for fender covers and put them with full trim. That looks pretty good. Oh, wow, I do not like that. I'm gonna be honest, that just looks weird. Removing part of the hood, but not the full hood. If you wanted to make a hot rod style, I don't think it's bad, but it's just not my style. I really like cars having the old 19... I would guess this is a 40s car. Nah, this is probably a... 30s car. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But I think it looks nice either way. Now we got some liveries here. We got vintage decals. I do like that. We got some two-tone flames. Awful. Uh, deep purple. No, I don't like that. Uh, that. That doesn't... I can't really tell. It just looks black. We got an LS Customs white. LS Customs black. Okay, this one's not too bad. No. 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 Ooh. I do like the downtown Cabco one. That one's pretty good. Take 50 customers to their destination during taxi work to unlock this item. Well, looks like I can't get this one. I do think this one looks actually sick, but we're just going to go for vintage decals because I can't do any of the others. <laughs> All right. Um, well, if we can do mirrors, let's just go for some old school mirrors. Oh, yeah. Plates. Let's make the car black. And then a respray. Okay. So, we want to make this look like an old school 1930s car. Uh, so yellow is definitely high up on the list of colors I might pick, uh, but I'm actually thinking like this Mariner blue really matches this kind of era, and then I'm thinking I'm making this like, ooh, actually that brushed aluminum right there may be exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm going to try uh, for the secondary color uh, just a normal... Uh, let's try like a, I, I would do a white, but I'm really thinking of like a silver. Do we have a silver anywhere here, or am I just going to have to go for brushed aluminum? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to stick with brushed aluminum. I think that looks really nice. We've got a vintage swamp cooler, or a retro swamp cooler. Uh, 
No. Those look all poo, but I don't want something hanging off the side of my car. Let's leave the suspension the way it is, because I would expect this car in real life to not lower the suspension. Uh, we got some vintage visors. I don't really like these visors too much, so we're just going to stick with none. Wheel type. I'm going to keep the classic wheels, because they already look sick, so I'm just going to put bulletproof on them. They're fully upgraded, and there you go. This car is done on the upgrades. I actually think this looks really nice. I don't know what you guys think about it. Um... But personally, I, I just love the look of old cars. I would personally really buy an old car. Like, I, I definitely want to buy a vintage car someday. Probably more like a, a 70s or 60s muscle car. But um, I still love the look of old vehicles. And I think this one looks really sick. The most important thing is obviously its overall top speed and its handling. So let's find out how this vehicle is. I'll definitely tell you this. It's got a very, very large engine from the sound it makes. Uh, top speed wise it does not seem very fast. It looks like we're just yeah It does not seem like this is gonna be a very fast muscle car So if you're going for speed This is probably not the vehicle that you're going to want to pull out and when it comes to handling. Oh boy Oh boy, it doesn't have much of that either to be fair We are driving on snow and it's actually like kind of grippy But I think that's just because this vehicle is so slow and so heavy at the exact same time Let's see can we break a hundred come on Speed! Speed, come on! Uh, you know what, I think we did break 100, but it really is not a very fast vehicle. I'd probably say that the speedo we are looking at is a bit off, but even then, it maybe has a top speed of 115, something around there. There's a lot of muscle cars in the game that already do what this vehicle does, so if you're buying the muscle cars class just for the speed and power, I really would not suggest to be looking at this vehicle in that type of category. Now, I do wonder if we can actually raise the hood on this vehicle, so if we go to vehicles... And where is it? Vehicle remote functions. Ah, oh, we can't. Oh, that sucks. I was really hoping we could raise the hood on this vehicle or the... Well, it doesn't... I guess it does have a trunk. Yeah, I can see the trunk. But I'm a little disappointed I can't just lift the hood on it because you would be able to in real life. Oh, unfortunately, we got Jimmy in the golf cart over there. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a $925,000 muscle car. It makes sense why it is so cheap, because there really isn't much with this vehicle. I just heard an explosion. Uh, interesting. Uh, maybe that golf cart just drove into a propane tank or something. But, um, yeah, there's not much special with this vehicle. It's a muscle car. If you like the look of it, pick it up when it comes out. Obviously, this is part of Drip Feed, and it's not going to be released for, I would say, the next two or three weeks. So it won't be a while. Uh, but it's a fun vehicle, and it will definitely uh, be up on my priority list to pick up when it does come out. Obviously, this isn't actually in my garage. This is just modded. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.